So I would say this is Jeff. This is David. We are playing Dark Souls 2. Woo! Like always. Yes, forever. Always and forever. Without end. Uh, t today we are going to kill the king. All right. So, so we just have to run in there and, and hit him. There's no extra prep for that at all. Yeah, the, yeah. The, the the reason that this this video is so long is because there's no extra prep for it. Yes, you just felt like uh, I, I hemming just and came hawing. over. The, I came over to the Black Gulch just because I like hanging out in the Black Gulch. That's Actually, true for everybody. We have to come to the Black Gulch for one of the other bosses too. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. Vendrick is easy. It just requires some setup. Right. So what we've been doing for the last few videos, whether you were aware of it or not, was collecting giant souls. That is not to say that they're just regular, they're just like bigger versions of souls, but they're actually souls of giants. Right. So we got one from killing the, well not one from killing the giant lord, but there is a, a dead giant at the end of the dream that you get the soul from and then right. you exit. Uh, and then we also got one from the ancient dragon, which you get from killing it. Which you can deduce is why maybe it was so big, because it was made from it. Also, I noticed an edit there. That was an edit of me just standing here, shooting lightning bolts at these guys until they died. Now they died, and we Ooh. got a soul of the giant out of it. <laughs> so now we're up to three. That's a little menuing there. Eventually right. find it. Yeah, we got okay. three. We're going to be needing uh, five, so we need to get two more. The other two giant souls are in the giant memories, which we'll be using the ashen mist heart to get into the giant right. trees. And I will say as many times as I failed them, I did enjoy the giant memories, but I'm also weird. No, the giant memories are great. Uh, it's kind of like time travel, kind of like Inception. It's a strange thing. Right. I also like uh, how in, the, in this version, <laughs> the knights are just beating up the dead giant. Yeah, this is that works for that. That's a better choice for two different reasons. So in Scholar of the First Sin, there's the hollow soldiers that are beating up the trees. This makes sense because if they're hollow and they were drank lake soldiers that they, you know, have, you know, like their long war with the giants that they're just like eternally stuck trying to kill them, even though they're, they're basically dead already. Mm -hmm. So that kind of makes sense. But it also is good towards pointing the player to those, you know, basically points of interest. Right. So, oh, hey. Talk to old Drummond. Yeah. That's the guy whose it. armor we took a long time ago. Yep, finally get his helmet and get a little, uh, um, a trophy from it. Mm. It's an achievement. <laughs> right, right, because you're totally playing this on an Xbox Oon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, the old Xbox Quattro. Yep. From Nintendo. <laughs> also get a nice little gesture. Yep. So there's two different dreams we're going through. This the first one, which I've already forgotten the name. I think it's uh, Vemar or Vemar, whatever. The dream of Vemar. The other one is Oro, or maybe I reversed those. I'll know in a second when the title comes back on. Yeah. Oh, you uh, mean you this don't is... get this in one shot? Uh, I got this one in one shot. Okay. Uh, the the next one I had um some trouble with. Right, but I the the route for this one because I'm just going off of the memory from you know regular Dark Souls two is the same. Okay, so th there wasn't like just trolley moments where like this ladder isn't there or something. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is actually slightly easier because there's more uh, Dranglaic so soldiers around. Okay. Oh, hey, you. Yeah, didn't ooh, die. little firebomb. That's right. That's not the right way. Let's try this again. <laughs> I really, really like the memories as set pieces as well. They're just really, really cool with a whole bunch yeah, of things not trying to kill you. <laughs> yeah, being in the middle of, like, an actual battle and war and stuff is interesting because, I mean, all the rest of the areas in Dark Souls is just... It's a non-specific place in time where everything is long dead <laughs> yeah. or is about to die. And this is the leader. can't die. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just want this guy to swing so I can get around him. Nope. Nope. Okay. Just do it again. Do. Come on. Do it. 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 Screw it. Run. Click the button. Made it. <laughs> it looks like I died. I didn't die. I just yeah. woke up. I'm fine. <laughs> so clicking on the dead giants at the end of these will give you a giant soul and will also warp you out. Okay. So that was actually successful. So the last of the giant memories is still in the same area. This is just after the uh, pursuer boss fight area. 
There's more, yeah, more drank leg soldiers just mm -hmm. hanging out over here, chopping them up. Beating up a tree. Yep, this one is a little bit trickier, mostly because the route for the original version of the game doesn't work anymore. You fall and you die. Oh. Okay. Oro. <laughs> they yeah, they, they moved the... Uh, it's either they moved the, um, the platform, or I forgot exactly what triggers the platform, but I totally just walked off and died on one of them. And I'm like, <laughs> alright, let's try and do the bottom here. Nope. Nope. <laughs> no. Well, that didn't work especially well. Oh, what are you talking about? That seemed to go great. This <laughs> time. Uh, so you climb up at the beginning, mm -hmm. go to the top, the ramparts, and then this is where you want to fall down. This is where the, uh, also, I got the cat ring on, so that this will be, uh... Oops. Yeah, yeah. You gotta be specific. Now, I like how that guy's just say, like, where'd that come from? It's like, what? Did, <laughs> what? So, about the cat ring I mentioned, you actually have to mm -hmm. put it on. Oh, that for, helps. Yeah, for it to work. <laughs> Way to go, so, yeah. It seems like, I was like, I could probably make that. I don't necessarily need the cat ring, right? It's probably be fine. It's not the case. You always need the cat ring. So, yes, here's the, I guess, the full version of the run. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's only like 20 seconds, but. Right. Just my poor souls. Yep. Nope. Uh, it, what? It's fine. What? It's fine. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't die. I didn't get hit by a ballista. I've got the soul. We're done. <laughs> Everything is fine. This is fine. So now that we have five of the giant souls, what they'll actually do is every one of them cuts the defense rating for Vendrick in half. You might remember Vendrick was wandering around behind Velstat. It's just hollowed. Mm -hmm. It's just a giant hollow with a big sword. Yes. Uh, Scholar of his first sin is also great. Uh, much like in the Velstat fight, because the different enemies here are very easy to trick to get around corners. <laughs> <laughs> because the Dragon Rider at the end uh, will sort of just run right at you, and you can just, yeah, you poke your head around here, and then juke around, and you're done. Woo! But I see souls as if you failed once? Uh, I mean, the fact that there's a fog gate should also be an indication that, <laughs> that <laughs> right. the first time didn't, didn't go well. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this, this is how the fight can go. Okay. You kind of like run up at him. <laughs> and then he just like kills you. <laughs> so. I just took a drink when you did that. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I didn't want to, didn't want to injure you. <clears throat> All right. Sorry. So, uh, okay. He started with a jump attack. That's good. We won't be seeing that jump attack anymore. Okay. No, it's so, a title Vendrick, card for the, Okay. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot that. That's fine. Okay. There's only two attacks. Two tile cards for the two attacks you really need to watch out for. The wide sweep? Uh, wide, wide sweep. Uh, actually, three attacks. One is more of a defensive move. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the wide sweep. So you're just going to stand at his left ankle, and every time he attacks, you'll hit him twice. And we'll repeat this until he dies. Well, uh, I'll, I'll eventually increase it up to uh, two attacks per. So that it just goes by a little bit faster. But the, the sweep, as you can see, the angle is not severe enough to get you if you continue to walk around him. If he backsteps, which he does occasionally, you just run towards him because he doesn't... If you run towards him immediately, uh, he won't recover into an attack uh, before you're able to get back in position, like so. The other thing he does is that! Overhead swing. He can do it up to two times, but it's this is even easier to dodge than... Even though he turns to face you, he doesn't turn fast enough. Mm -hmm. um, not nearly fast enough. You just keep hugging his left you know, left ankle here. I'm, and then that's it. We should repeat that until he dies. I'm, I'm noticing something, Jeff. Yes? You didn't throw poop at him. I did not throw poop at him. That would seem... Not... Uh, it would seem rude. Not very regal. He already stripped naked. Yeah, I mean, but that's probably just, you know, because, like, the, the sword is so heavy in order to, you know, to be able to, like, do the back step properly, you know, the encumbrance is probably it. Or maybe he was an insane old zombie. I think it's the <laughs> insane... It's also possible, at, it's possible that that's the, the reason. At the point he becomes an insane old zombie, you don't have to show him deference. You can totally okay. just throw poop at him. It's okay. I give you my permission.
Okay, thank you. I'm glad that I have permission to... I'm not even sure if he takes uh, toxic damage or not. I, if you want to find out, then go ahead. Like, you, you, that's an exercise for the viewers at home. You act like <laughs> I cared about the poison damage. What can actually happen that can ruin... Yeah, back, back to useful right, advice. Right, right. I mean, well, I mean, poop is actually useful advice for most bosses, but... Yes. Uh, if he... If he backsteps into the corner, mm -hmm. um, I, don't, I don't really have great advice for you. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> keep him out of the corner as much as you can. Uh, he, only, he only has the few attacks, and he'll he'll keep spamming them if he if you're in, I guess like sort of like towards his front, basically. Uh, it's is he has a tendency to backstep more if you're right behind him. Mm -hmm. So you can try and manipulate him that way. Uh, if you if he jumps right back into the corner and you don't have an opportunity to get to him You can try running away in which case he'll run at you and he'll do a slam like he did at the beginning or he'll do a jump Or he might just stop and do the sweep hmm. in which case a Shield a good shield will work um, If it's the sweep, I think you can actually block it even though it'll probably take all of your stamina especially on SL1 But if it's the overhead and you're blocking it, it, it won't help you Hmm so is it, yeah, it's not real. Yeah, I just don't have great advice for that, except just you know the run up to the boss fight is very short and like he's very easy to get in that little loop, AI loop. So and then once you've got him, he yeah. dies. Yeah, eventually. And if you're not, yeah, and if you're not doing SL one, you have like a good sturdy shield, then you're you probably have a much better chance of yeah my uh, safely taking care of him at long range if you need to for just one or two attacks before getting into position on his uh, foot again my uh my sunlight straight sword character was able to just take the attack on the shield okay. so yeah well that's good to know yeah uh, it was i All right. think it was a fully upgraded drain lake drain lake shield no it was a shield of the defender i think okay we haven't quite gotten to the defender yet i don't want to find the defender <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to fight this vendor anymore. Uh, uh, there's one. There's one last. What I'm going to call a little easy boss in the original sort of release of the game, uh, which is the last boss. Right. Actually. That's uh, Natasha Hedstrich. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Nashandra Hedstrich. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't know her. I've only fought her like twice. I don't remember her name. Yeah. Yeah. She's. She's very simple. Um, and easy to get into an AI loop, mm -hmm. and not not hard at all. Um, uh, the boss fight right before her is nightmarishly difficult because the cheese that I prefer for SL1 was patched out many, many moons ago. The so. lightning spear? <laughs> no, I mean, that was patched out, but the, the cheese that, uh, the specific cheese that I like for this one is Chaos Fire, mm. like Chaos Firestorm combined with um, a Backstab Ring. Uh, but the backstab ring was nerfed very hard. So mm. uh, the earlier strategy for that was to uh, use a chaos firestorm and then just sit in the middle between them and then just cast it and you win. <laughs> <laughs> Even in assault one, they try and hit you, but the backstab ring uh, prevents the damage and breaks. Oh, okay. So you, so you have that. It gives you the time to get the full cast of the, the chaos firestorm off. That, uh, I'll see if that's still possible or not. Probably not. not. Sure. That sounds like fun. Either way, that's a, that's kind of a pain in the butt. Like all multiple boss fight fights are. Hmm. I digress. And then there's the horrible thing, which is Tyrael, basically. <laughs> 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 which also requires, requires setup. This is the last of the easy ones. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, the end. I didn't fight. The, I didn't fight Tyrael for like seven or eight playthroughs. So you know, you don't even have to <laughs> just skip <laughs> no, it. No, I'll, I'll finish Tyrael at least. Um, Is that his name? No, no. It's, it's a dark. It's a dark lurker. Oh, thank you. It just looks like Tyrael, right? <laughs> it just kind of looks like Tyrael. So, ah, uh, that boss. Yeah. Well, if you enjoy listening to us talk about Dark Souls, which we'll do forever until the end of time. Even when we're not we, making videos. Until I go hollow. <laughs> uh, then consider donating to our Patreon. Yep. Speaking of good tea. 
That's um, I'm drinking iced tea. That's why this. You know what? So am I. <laughs> All right. Serendipity, <laughs> synchronicity, tea buddies, tea buddies.